what is going on people welcome back to another video on aj5 so in today's video guys it is all about terra luna another one guys a highly requested video and yes guys there has been news going around and also statistics proving that luna is burning which is a good thing for us obviously meaning there's low supply and high demand for this crypto so what we're going to be looking at in today should you buy it is it really burning and if so what is its next target where is it heading to you know should you buy it before it's too late before it goes up in value as as you can see the value is very very low at the moment investing 20 30 40 dollars into it can get you a, a huge huge amount of uh, terra luna so should you invest into it or should you avoid it that's what we're going to be looking at into today as that is one of the most commonly asked questions when it comes to this crypto people don't know what to do and again i've always said this guys if you want to invest into it that's fine but i wouldn't personally i wouldn't recommend putting a grand two grand three grand into it even if you put a hundred dollars into it you're gonna get more than enough tokens but again it's up to you how much you want to invest and how you know the risks that you want to take but before i get into more details on terra luna burning and you know whether you should buy it so on and so on if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet make sure to go down and smash that subscribe button as well as like the video as i'm trying to hit 100k subscribers by the end of the year and if you guys can help me hit that target i will be doing a cryptocurrency giveaway as soon as i hit that target where you guys can be winning cryptocurrencies and also make sure to like the video so as you can see, we are on the Coinbase website. Let's quickly load up the Lunar chart. As you can see, it's been dropping in value, but it doesn't, you know, I'm not going to uh, talk about how much it drops and so on. We all know what's taking place 100% over the week. That's all that we need to know. We don't need to know anything else. So let's have a look at the trading volume. Has it gone down since I made my last video? Yes, it has. Last time I made a video, it was about 3.2 or $3.1 billion. And that was a couple of hours ago. And right now it's dropped to $2.9 billion. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I am expecting it to drop even more over the coming days and potentially to about $1 billion towards the end of this week because of the way it's performing. However, if it does take a U-turn and manage to gain value, then yes, we may see it going up in value. But at the moment, I'm not expecting that anytime soon. So again, guys, just a little disclaimer. This is no financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say is from my own prediction and my take on the crypto and any gains or losses you guys make, I will not be responsible for. So will Terra Luna burn its supply? A Terra Luna burn is one potential recovery plan for the collapsed crypto. Again, that's not what the CEO one said about the, this, but this is what people are saying. You know, if it does burn, then yes, we could see it recovering, or you know, if we can see its value going up. So, a Luna burn of its supply is just one proposed idea to help the Luna recovery, but could it happen guys that is the you know, one of the main questions because if, if it does then yes it could drive the price up so with the lunar crypto crash seeing the lunar circulating supply skyrocket to over 6.5 trillion coins several holders want to see a terra luna burn to decrease this supply and potentially potentially increase the value much like the success of shiba inu burns among the sheep community will holders be successful at implementing lunar burns so let's have a look here i'm not sure why i'm getting these random ads about why is it even taking me to this website? Let me try to close it. Anyways, whilst the current Terra recovery plan is more focused on a potential lunar fork, some holders have dismissed this, instead seeing potential in the existing chain for a lunar burn. And again, I have always mentioned the recovery plan in my previous video that the CEO himself has announced. However, we don't know if he's gonna, you know, if he's gonna actually put it into plan and execute it, but that is one of the proposed ideas. Indeed, this seems to be the method favoured by Binance CEO CZ. He has remained in close contact with the Luna team ever since the partial Luna delisting on Binance. But yes, it has um, uh, resumed to list it on Binance and you are now able to trade, I'm guessing, um, from the last time I've read it anyway. By burning the Luna, holders hope this will in the increase the scarcity of this coin, pushing the price back towards the $1 mark, guys. However... With the supply increasing 1,700% in a few days, a major burn will be needed to restore this price. It's also worth noting that despite many Twitter accounts claiming a Terra Luna announcement will involve a massive supply burn, there has been no official announcements yet. So that is very important, guys. There hasn't been any official announcement. Doesn't mean that whatever we're reading online is going to happen. It's just what people are saying, what we're predicting, and um, something that we would uh, you know, prefer to be done. The collapse has given accounts a new opportunity to increase the engagement by posting statements involving Luna's price and burning. Not everyone in one in the cryptocurrency community is in favor of a Luna burn, with some Luna holders calling for Terraform Labs or the Terra Foundation Guard to buy and burn the supply. 
the users have questioned where these places would get the money to get such bans from so again luna obviously has lost its trust i would say but again people are still investing into it still buying it hoping that it goes back up in value and i've bought it myself if you guys are part of my telegram group chat you would have seen that but again i'm not investing too much into it because of the value it's at, at the moment even if i get you know um, um, forty thousand tokens for about 10 20 40 dollars i'm still gonna get a decent amount of money so one proposal of the lunar research forums that has gained traction suggested a three percent burn tax on transactions based on our volume which is around three billion dollars at the moment if we implemented only three percent burn tax on each buy and sell transaction we could burn around 300 billion luna at the time of writing this proposal it said so again guys these are uh, these are not official statements just to make it clear moving on to what binance ceo says buy back or burn terra to create value confirm exchange doesn't hold usd so that is obviously what the binance ceo says himself and to be honest guys he's quite a smart guy so again that may be the option as you can see he's posted it here we are reading some comments on twitter it has occurred to me that i haven't asked our team if finance had any ust i don't have access to our admin backend for security reasons i have asked someone to get info i just asked now so obviously this was yesterday doesn't look like there's been any reply ever since as this was posted earlier today so it's been a devastating week obviously we all know that the coin has lost over 95 percent of its value 100 percent now anyway Binance CEO admitted that he was under pressure from crypto Twitter to disclose whether the exchange owned any UST, but obviously he didn't know himself. A little from fees, trying hard to support Luna community, transparency is key, so on and so on. So yeah, again, I'm not going to move on to these other articles, but yeah, guys, burning, uh, it looks like that may be a potential um you know potential outcome or a potential thing for uh not us obviously but the ceo of luna to do burn tokens for it to increase the value and obviously put it in a better position than it's at the moment let me know what your expectations and what your predictions are on luna guys do you guys want to see a burn on luna or would you pr prefer it what uh you know a version two or a plan b or whatever they want to call it another form of luna where they you know like the uh, the owner or the ceo proposed earlier on two to three days ago where they have one billion uh, tokens and they're going to distribute it between them, the current holders new holders and all for future projects as well let me know what your expectations and what your predictions are and are you guys expecting luna, luna to hit the one dollar mark comment down below guys i'm very intrigued to see how many of you guys are bullish and how many of you guys are bearish on this crypto i myself i'm still holding on to it at the moment i haven't sold any of it i'm still holding on to it and i'm not buying more i'm not selling it i'm just uh, going to be holding it for the long run but yeah that is pretty much it for today's video guys just a quick one on luna with the latest updates and news that i could get hand of again i should be um pro uh, doing another video on luna later on today probably in the next five six seven hours uh, not quite sure yet again let me know what you think if you guys want more updates let me know in the comment section as well M before you click off the video make sure to like subscribe share comment and all of that stuff and i'll catch all of you guys in my next crypto update which should hopefully be later on today until then Take care and peace.